Welding, agriculture, and horticulture are all terms that are readily associated with the future farmers of America. At Pearl River High, Bill Mayfield and Doug Fisher are doing their best to spice things up and bring their FFA chapter to the dinner table. About five or six years ago, over in the meat center, we started working on a rub that we used on brisket and pulled pork. Kids would come in and they'd try it and, you know, we want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then they tweak it. And eventually we got it to the point where everybody was saying, this is awesome, we want it. From that simple idea, Rebel Rub Seasoning was born. We took our recipe that we had created over to Targill Seasoning in Opelousas and we sat down with them and they helped us design the label and they started packaging it for us. In April, Rebel Rub hit the store shelves at all six North Shore Rouse's locations and the National FFA took notice. The National FFA has started to recognize this as a great way to not only raise funds but raise awareness. By this being in the stores, even places where there is no FFA program are now becoming aware of it. We found out we're one of the ten national finalists as a model of innovation for chapter development gives us a way of funding without competing against other organizations and it, it's a constant flow of income for the chapter. To put that number in perspective, there are 7,572 FFA chapters in the United States. Out of those chapters, Pearl River High will go to the Nationals in Louisville in October, ranked in the top 10 in the country. If you crunch the numbers, that makes Pearl River's FFA chapter weigh in at the top half of the top 1%. And that is impressive. It's really cool to get to do that because there's only 10 in the nation that get to. And coming from a small town, that's pretty cool. We went from nothing to now we've become so successful that the students are getting the benefits to this. And by the students getting the benefits, we're hoping to help them succeed in later life. With the first batch of Rebel Rub sold and more on the way, these FFA students at Pearl River are setting the table to national prominence in a very local way. Rhett Sharp, Channel 13. <laughs>